I can't believe it's been a whole year since I got my Rivian. I was lucky to get one early, just when I needed a truck. Driving between Massachusetts and Vermont every single week, I put on 25,000 miles this year. As you can see, I average about two miles per kilowatt hour. But I thought I'd make a quick video going back through my camera roll to reflect on this first year with the R1T. Let's start with the moment it was delivered to my driveway and my reaction. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Oh my God. <laughs> I was coming from an early 2018 Model 3 rear wheel drive for 55,000 miles over four years, and I quickly detailed with the short notice of my unexpectedly early delivery of the Rivian on May 7th, 2022. Although I'd called and begged Rivian for any configuration I could get early, I managed to get my first choice, a forest green quad motor R1T. The only way I can explain getting delivery just seven months after my October 21 pre-order was maybe it was someone else's cancellation at the right time. But the timing was perfect because I had a lot of towing to do moving things up to our new Vermont house up a mountain dirt road. So I immediately got to work moving things up to the house, including bringing up this big fridge, and of course up to my usual high drinks trying to find data on the CAN bus here in the back of the gear tunnel. In fact, given a few days, I quickly figured out some of the data, and here I am transmitting it up to an iPad while driving. Now, I'd never towed a trailer in my life before, but I had to learn really quickly, and I just took the 165-mile drive very slowly. And here we are doing more truck things, moving a snowblower. Now, this is the one issue I had over the first few months. These squeaky half shafts, which were a common problem and actually went in twice to fix. Rivian added so many awesome features every single month and one of the early ones was dog mode, which I used right away. What do you think of this Electrify America? Pretty bad, they're all broken. Hmm. In Boston, I live just a few miles from the Chelsea Service Center, and I really enjoyed going in for service visits, not just to see all the colorful trucks, but also to meet all the friendly employees. This time was to fix my noisy half shafts, but every single time I've gone to service, it's been an absolute pleasure dealing with them. Now here I am getting a power wall installed in my house in Vermont, and I had the opportunity to power lights and equipment from the truck. The installers were thrilled. This was one of my first sightings. I came out of the supermarket and there was an identical Rivian right across from me. The truck has a nice garage to sleep in in Vermont. And here I am putting it to creative use, pulling a heavy dryer out of the basement. My small town of Vermont had an EV parade and wouldn't you know it, four local Rivians show up. In the fall, I started getting very worried about snow and the lack of choice of any options for snow tires for the 21. So here I was testing chains and snow socks. And now here's my creative way of powering the leaf vacuum. Back at the service center, this was my very first R1S sighting. I was there because after months of begging, Rivian finally sold add-on wheels so I could get a set of 20-inch all-terrains for the winter months. And the AT dark wheels look absolutely awesome with the forest green. By the end of fall, I had figured out a lot more CAN data and better places to plug in. And here I am driving with live motor torques uh, shown on test lacks. And having the CAN server now on board all the time allowed me to bring back my old dashboard gauges from the Tesla. And I could finally start seeing things live, power, torque, battery temperatures that I really missed. And this is the setup I've stuck with through today with two dash displays showing all the data I'd like to see. And here comes the snow, and boy did we get a lot. In this case, it was actually above the truck's highest height. And the 20s did okay in fresh snow. They actually plowed right through it all till I got to the snow bank from the snow plow. So I decided to send it. And that was a huge mistake. <laughs> I got stuck and it took me three hours to tow it back out. The very next day, I'm going down the plowed road and more snow. And when I had to pull over for a car to pass, I got stuck in the ditch again. And again, I needed to pull that with the Jeep. Here it was two inches from hitting a rock. 
So I learned very quickly the Rivian is not invincible. Here I am towing one last trailer, stopping the charge out of the EA station as I had to do almost three times a week throughout the winter. And coming back from Home Depot with some wood. I came across this old Chevy pickup in a parking lot. It's almost identical to the Chevy S15. That was my very first car back in high school, so I had to park next to it, and look at the difference in size. I spent a lot of March and April skiing, and the gear tunnel doors were perfect adjustable height chairs for putting on a ski boots. The winter and spring, I spent a lot of time stopping at EA stations, which were regularly broken. Here's ABB fixing them, and don't worry, they were broken again days later. And just a few more snow pictures from our final storm where the snow banks were almost up to the roof. Driving on these roads with four or five foot snow banks was just incredible. You'll notice that crack in my windshield. Thanks to a rock chip, I had to get that replaced in the spring. Here's my buddy picking up his almost identical R1S. And I found the source to a lot of my highway wind noise. You can see my A-pillar window was coming apart. I was able to push that back in. But I guess they've redesigned this. I wanted to take a minute and talk about the software too. I mean, the UI in Rivian, I think, is one of the best in the industry, but it's more about the solid improvements that have come out almost every single month in the year that I've had this truck. I mean, everything is really nicely done, but they've added so many little improvements every month, solid little improvements and updates. I mean, like one of the big ones to me was this used to only have mileage or finally have battery percentage. That was a fight I had for a while. Um, you know, the navigation, like most other car navigation, is not as good as Google, uh, but they've made lots of improvements to it. It's actually one of the most beautiful ones, and it's nice and responsive like someone else we know. Um, you know, we've got a great Spotify. I, hopefully we get some more music inputs. I guess they're coming. Um, you know, but the coolest thing is the drive modes. I mean, this is just one of the main features of this car is so adaptable that I can use it as a sports car and I can use it off-road and in the dirt and um, you know then they keep adding to these that's the other thing with the software updates I mean we have had added off-road modes um, for all sorts of different situations uh, apparently towing improvements are coming um, snow mode was a huge huge improvement um, for for winter handling just in time uh, and of course, sports a blast. Um, but overall, I mean, there's been lots of little, I thought I'd just walk through quickly and see some of the lighting stuff, especially when um, we got the Halloween mode. Um, and I think we've got more to come there. Um, and so I think we should need to, you know, still move these icons around and things like that. But uh, you know, overall, I think it's one of the best UIs, and, and I mean just solid updates every month. We've added features, um, and, you know, we just got uh, dash cam just last month, for example. I mean, this has been, you know, like Sentry Mode in Tesla, um, and now we have dash, dash cam driving. Um, it's great, and of course, there's always a lot of fun. Um, you know, with, it, it, it's just, it's just great. The UI makes you happy along with the whole company. So that's a quick overview of my first year with the Rivian. It's been such an awesome experience. The truck is a blast to drive, and it's so useful for so many things. That's why I call it a Swiss Army knife when people come up and ask me how I like it. Stay tuned to the next video where I'll go through every accessory and item I've added to the truck. Oh yeah, and one more thing. My tonneau cover works great.